What's up, Molin investors and money makers? Welcome back to the channel. The stars are perfectly aligned for Molin tomorrow on Monday. We may see short squeeze, and I'm here to report the latest development as to what's going on. We'll do some technical analysis and I'll share why there could be 15 cents, 18 cents, and 20 cents just spike tomorrow for Molin. Remember, there are tons of stuff going on. More importantly, we saw the latest live stream from Lawrence. Paul Finkelstein, one of the Twitter handle on Paul, it is talking about this particular live streaming that you can watch out. It's more than 51 minutes. More importantly, Lawrence mentioned that Paul, in this particular um, event that uh, a group of people are talking about, and you can take a look right here, Molen will be production ready within two to three weeks, which is sound, which sounds really, really exciting. Now, if you think about Molen, could there be short squeeze tomorrow, starting next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Probably yes, because a couple of things we need in terms of the short squeeze. Remember, we had a pretty high short volume right down in the comment section below short squeeze or write down bull if you are rooting for Molin and if you're part of the bull story or bull party if you're part of the bear party write down in the comment section below the bear party also write down what is what do you think is the price point because at the end of the day there are no fundamentals but you know what I'm going to do technical analysis I'll be sharing how we ended on Friday what the short sellers are looking like because you need two things high short volume and the cost of uh, borrowing is high and if people are not willing to sell at that point this you can see short squeeze we have seen that multiple times in multiple stocks and this can really really start spiking up tomorrow because there is a big PR coming up so I'll be sharing some technicals I'll be sharing what is going on in last couple of uh, hours and I'll be also sharing what you can expect Monday Without further delay, do hit the like button because we need 300 likes on this video so we can share this information with more and more people. Remember, at the end of the day, you need to do your own due diligence because these are penny stocks. One thing Molin was was lacking is some of the positive big catalyst. And we saw that end of Friday, we saw that the $10 billion deal announcement can be early Monday be between 9 to 11. So we will see that there will be some sort of pre-market activity in Molin as well. You can buy or sell Molin, by the way, in pre-market. Remember, Molin is part of NASDAQ and you can do pre-market as well as off-hours activities. And we have seen that after hours we saw 11 cents so Molan is already into the positive momentum do hit the like button subscribe to the channel because this is looking super juicy super interesting and for all this juicy information we do need 300 likes motivate me because I spent a ton of hours energy my efforts and my time in building this video, sharing this back to the community, but I'm not a financial advisor. This videos are only for the entertainment purposes. Now, what is going on, right? Now, one of the things that you really need that Lawrence is creating a ton of buzz around into the market from Molin. Now, this is needed for penny stocks and Molin, our, our fall, Paul already uh, interviewed for 51 minutes in this live stream and there is a ton of information, a lot of teasing going on and this is a $10 billion deal for Molin. Reddit and Twitter is full of all this information and speculations at the end of the day we need we, we needed a positive catalyst and here we are so paul lawrence interview and this group of shareholder introduced lauren to molen very interesting take a look right here one of the user on reddit i watched it there's a lot of info in this interview tomorrow will be easiest money making for a swing trader ever for molen and i do agree because that's when you make money in penny stock now Remember, you can do 2x, 3x, 5x, but on the flip side, you can lose the money as well. I usually do not invest more than 5 to 7 percent. Why I'm sharing this is right now, we are on Sunday. Tomorrow, in pre market, you may or may not have the opportunity. So be careful and do it the way you want to do it. Don't just drag or, or emotionally drag over because of just a YouTuber like me is telling you this information. I'm long, but shit tomorrow is no brainer. We will at 4 a.m. start off that insanity. 
I can't wait to see that. Now, another thing, and this is really two hours before, right? So I'm giving you the news hot from the plate. Now, pass kick back, take a look. Big question, is the granddaddy Monday, we know that $10 billion Saudi Arabia content, contract. I hope you watched my previous videos and you didn't miss out on that because $10 billion for Molan is a pretty big deal. Yes, remember that Molan has 51% of the part or the share within this newly joint venture, 49% goes to the LLC, but at the end of the day, Molan is still going to make money. Remember, Molan has close to 300 million, I believe, um, $389 million um, in terms of the market cap at the moment. So don't forget that this uh, this can add into Molan's book of business as well. So even more to come, it wasn't enough. The week will be nuts. Best of luck to all. Any well gas is pre-market price? Tell me, what do you think your pre-market price? Write down in the comment section below. If you think 20 cents, write down 20 cents. If you think 40 cents, write down 40 cents. What happens at O? open and closing price right down in the comment section below this particular user saying i think it can go to 50 cents and uh, i don't deny because uh, there are no fundamentals once it starts squeezing right i'll share the fundamentals because fundamentals the stars are perfectly aligned as i mentioned to you monday is going to bring big things from molin and certainly no guarantee but a nice hurdle nfa <laughs> now i think some of the big boys will pile in stock soon and this is looking super amazing while i have the expectations for tomorrow i'm still mentally braced for the SP not to go any higher than 12 cents. Drop a sander too. I have been in Molen game for too long and much price, much surprise me. Long and strong wins this race. And I 100% agree because the short sellers are staying strong and tomorrow the cost to borrow will be high. We have seen the short sellers are not stepping back. But with this positive catalyst, especially this $10 billion Saudi deal, it's going to be amazing. Take a look what's happening right here. Before I go ahead, I just wanted to say the Twitter is also full of a ton of information. Take a look. Molen will be production ready within two to three weeks. That was told on live, um, live stream, which is amazing, amazing with Paul Finkelstein um, live streaming with Lawrence LMAO. They have to hire workers to train them first. Lies are easy. Oh, but there are two days, a two way story, right? Like, so Molen, this is a good problem to solve, in my opinion. If things work out and if they have to train, um, their tra train the workers and whatever engineers and make sure that their mechanics are ready, blah, blah, blah. That's a good problem to solve because now you have everything ready and you are waiting for the production, right? Now, if you think about the stock tweets, we have seen the sentiment score extremely bullish in the last few hours so let's take a look last 15 minutes extremely bullish 2.08 take a look right here sentiment score at the moment extremely bullish 2.20 this that's the last score one day ago we saw slightly bullish now we are extremely bullish do you know why because of this live stream because of i'll share one more thing um in a second as well extremely bullish in terms of the message volume score which means the community is uh, is pumping up a lot there's a lot of buzz around mall and be because people are speculating this 10 billion dollar saudi deal which is amazing 15 minutes ago for message volume we are extremely bullish with 3.10 3.4101 and 3.41 so message volume score extremely high extremely high one day ago this message volume was slightly high and you can tell why we were at 0. Point or 0. 0.80 and we jumped up to 3.41 which is extremely high in my opinion and you know that because of the buzz on twitter because of the buzz on reddit and whatever is going on in the live stream it is creating a ton of uh, ton of buzz right Right? participation ratio one day ago it was low uh, one day ago it was normal activity on buzz level which started spiking up right so my point is people are looking into it and if you miss this 10 billion dollar deal we may get some pr very positive pr on monday hopefully monday morning and we'll see what happens in the pre-market we'll see happens what happens into the regular market during the normal hours but molen is again nasdaq traded entity one thing before i go ahead i just wanted to show you uh, what we did in terms of the volume 713 million right it jumped up uh, almost 3x from 235 and i wanted to show you this chart right here so you can see a little bit of a pump um, at the end of the day right here the pump was from 
850 right here all the way to 1020 just within a matter of a matter of a matter of a day and this is what precisely i wanted to tell you now if you think what happened to rsi this red bar here is an r is the rsi it jumped up which means we're over overbought at that point right like so people started buying this is the buying uh, sp uh, buying spree buying spike as you can see um the green juicy bar and we started uh, balancing out right here but the important thing i wanted to show you here that you want to notice and this is just one day on 421 so this is where 421 starts we saw the buying red uh, green juicy bar and that buying bar after that we started seeing seeing the sell-off so what happened was there is a sell-off volume this red bar sell-off volume red bar sell off volume all this red bar but regardless we stayed pretty strong at 1050 1060 1030 1040 we did not really go below this 1030 or 1030 so we are at almost 10 and a half cent regardless of this red bars right here and this is the macd i want to quickly show you so you see this blue bar this blue line is about the orange line which i really like to see when i see and when i look at the macd so all these indicators, yes, we are slightly higher right here, right? Like 62 RSI, we are slightly higher. I would like to see rather 40 or maybe 35, but you can see that people started buying because they thought Monday morning will be very important. I truly believe based on the latest events, Monday morning could be crucial for Mullen, and which is why I like to see this MACD. All of a sudden, this blue bar started jumping above the orange bar, this MACD, and this is what is going to drive momentum on Monday morning now if you think about what is going on on a five day chart so this is uh, sorry one day chart right here the one day chart we also saw the spike right here regardless of the moving average this blue bar uh, this green bar which is the moving average went up the real time price point was above and that's how it ended it went slightly below but for the most part it was about the moving average the real time price point this blue bar is the real time price point and which is something i really really like to see if you go one more chart right here or one more bar we went from 9 cents to 11 cents just within a couple of days or rather 8 cents to 11 cents which is just within a, within a day and this can quickly go to 17 to 18 cents again if there is a pr 10 billion dollar from Mullen is a pretty big thing now if you missed out on what is 10 billion dollar thing um lauren lawrence um, um teased about a 10 billion dollar contract with saudi arabia and potentially we may get some pr tomorrow morning if not tomorrow morning then hopefully tomorrow at the least because based on all this live stream it looks like super super promising now just don't take my word uh, granted because again i am also searching the way or researching the way you can do um, your own due diligence I, all i'm asking you is just hit the like button make this channel part of your due diligence molen advanced energy maeo is quickly resonating with shareholders and you started seeing some of the momentum we can easily 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 can go about a billion in volume to tomorrow for Molen, if not 2 billion. Now, if you think about what is the average volume, average volume to 46 million. And yesterday on, or on Friday, our volume was already 723. So we already booked close to, close to 3x volume there is a momentum we talked about there is a buzz and that buzz has been spiking up through the roof and which is exciting because of this 10 billion dollar deal that they are talking about global ev technology founder lawrence also teased a 10 billion dollar contract with saudi arabia molen is down right now think about it molen is down right now and it wouldn't take too long for molen to start spiking up and go back to 50 cent and which is the beauty when you see a positive pr you see just the pump but 2x 3x 5x just in matter of days now this is again today is all speculation we need to see the pr we need to see the terms of what is 10 billion dollars what is the time frame all those questions need to be answered before we start spiking through the roof again but i'm expecting some sort of uh, great momentum tomorrow and write down in the comment section below what do you believe as well what price point do you think year to date molen is down almost 68 percent now this deal why this is important 
because because this is uh, this is going to be very game changing technology technology we are seeing some of the advancement in the battery technology we are seeing the full charge will run this up to 60 to 70 percent and think about it what they have been saying this is not what somebody said or what you heard this is reality and this is once again i am just uh, going through the investor place so you can also do your due diligence and uh, take a look this is a reality this 10 billion dollar contract with saudi arabia and more to come molen and lawrence are um, lawrence are here to assist them they have countries like yemen israel all of them have joined to take this technology and they're going to produce saudi arabia and they're also paying for a manufacturing plant come to come to Mich michigan that's in black and white right so the sac if you're watching that's already uh, we have agreed upon molen has not yet confirmed lawrence's statement although 10 billion dollar contract and additional plan would undoubtedly be beneficial to molen stock and this is based on the pr that you see just before a couple of days ago on investor place uh, um, investorplace.com i hope you like this video and if you're excited for tomorrow don't forget to hit the like button so we share this information with more people also subscribe to the channel and write down in the comment section below what do you think thanks for watching and good luck tomorrow